It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and our first tie goes to our collective national football fever just one week away from the Super Bowl. College fans are excited, too, with the announcement this week of their team's fall schedules. The University of Kansas had the very best rollout thanks to a junior reporter named Scarlett Painter. Scarlett's dad is the Jayhawks' director of football operations. The team announced its schedule with a collection of, well, abstract drawings of the opponent's logos from the adorable six-year-old. The Kansas players then attempted to guess who they'll be playing this year by interpreting Scarlett's drawings. All right. Is this a goat, sheep? This animal's smiling. Missouri State. Missouri State Bears. We, we got a... We got this. Some type of creature. Nevada. That's who it is. No, the, the wolf pack. Animal with big ears. Sure, close enough. Scarlet's animals are spot on, as you can see there. But things do get trickier from there. Is this a clock? The UCF Knights. Feeling pretty confident here. Not no more. Italian, man. This Oklahoma State Cowboys. But if it's a pizza, a pizza, we got a triangle with a circle in the lines. This got to be Iowa State. This is Cyclones for sure. Yeah, clearly a Cyclone. Come on, guys. The full schedule eventually was revealed, as you can see there. And naturally, Scarlett's drawing of the Jayhawk was the very best of them all. Rock chalk, Scarlett. Well done. Our first low goes to a nation spun into chaos this week by conflicting reports from America's Groundhog Meteorologists. Punxsutawney Phil, ladies and gentlemen! Pennsylvania's Punxsutawney Phil is the most famous of our forecasting groundhogs. He's been on the job since 1887, but he's only been accurate 39% of the time over the years. On Thursday morning, Phil saw his shadow, meaning six more weeks of winter. Unless, of course, he was completely wrong, which he is 61% of the time. In recent years, Staten Island Chuck really has made a name for himself among woodchuck weathermen. Since he got into the game in 1981, the New Yorker has an impressive 80% accuracy rate. This week, he did not see his shadow, signaling, from his point of view anyway, an early spring. A little conflict there between the two hogs. America increasingly turning its eyes to old 80% Chuck, though, even as Punxsutawney Phil loyalists stand by their beloved, inaccurate man. You guys can keep getting the forecast from a groundhog if you want to. I'm riding with Al Roker. Our next tie goes to just getting out there and putting one foot in front of the other especially when you've never done it before. This is our guy, Journey, discovering for the very first time he can walk. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's exciting. He is absolutely amazed by himself, and rightly so. <laughs> Looking around with that big smile, like, are you guys seeing this? I'm walking. Parents Alyssa and B posted the proud moment that Journey realized he has a real talent for forward mobility, and he quickly became a viral star. Just wait till he gets his driver's license. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.